Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for April the 3rd. Today marks the opening of Elizabeth I's Parliament that would handle her first and most important duty, the religious settlement. In the final settlement that would pass, England would try to reconcile decades of religious turmoil through a compromise that left no one truly happy. Elizabeth recognized many Protestant aspects of service, but would keep some of the things that Protestants deemed popery, including vestments for the clergy. It was largely based on Cramer's 1552 Book of Common Prayer. Elizabeth was also named the Supreme Governor, not the Supreme Head, of the Church of England. Likely a nod to the fact that, as a woman, it would have been hard to justify her having theological control over male bishops. That's your Tudor Minute. For today, remember you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com, where we did a series on the Protestant Reformation in England during the month of October to celebrate the 500th anniversary. 